Coming up, a UW Eau Claire student faces felony charges after damaging a campus dorm. Plus, why some employers are raising wages in Wisconsin. And volunteers make blankets for children in need. Live from the breaking news and weather authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us. A mild end to the weekend will give way to a significant winter storm that will impact the Chippewa Valley early this week. Let's head over to meteorologist Derek Dahlman for the latest details. A UW Eau Claire student faces felony charges after a criminal complaint says he caused thousands of dollars in damage to a dorm basement. Prosecutors charge 21-year-old Zachary Cunningham of New Richmond Thursday with felony burglary and criminal damage to property. The Associated Press is reporting uh, custodial staff discovered the damage earlier this month. Several doors, a chair, and two card readers were damaged. Wiring had been ripped from the ceiling, and insulation was scattered inside one room. Keys and a radio were missing from the custodian's break room. Employers are planning to step up their wages. That's according to a recent survey by the Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce, which says businesses are responding to a worker shortage. A group of volunteers are sending love and comfort to children in need one blanket at a time. WEAU's Leanne Stapleton shares how they're making an impact here in the Chippewa Valley and across the nation. Taylor says right now her, her Project Linus chapter has members in Chippewa and Eau Claire counties. She hopes to see the chapter expand into surrounding counties in the coming year. Coming up in Sports Scene 13, area wrestlers are hoping to punch their tickets to the state tournament in Madison. First, why parents are concerned over a potential teacher strike. Minneapolis educators are preparing to strike if districts don't come to the table and compromise. In St. Paul, 78% of educators said yes to a strike, while 97% of educators in Minneapolis also voted yes. Aaron Haas and Zeta spoke with families who are on edge but say they don't blame the teachers. Both unions have another mediation session on Tuesday. Before any strike could begin, they have to formally notify the district and go through a 10-day wait period. Increasing southerly flow tonight will help drive temperatures upward overnight and into tomorrow with an impactful winter storm expected to hit early this week. Meteorologist Derek Dahlman has the details next in your Skywarn 13 forecast. 23, the expected high for tomorrow, and that winter storm slated to move in Monday and Tuesday of this week. Thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. A 24 hour ice fishing contest kicked off this afternoon at Lake Altoona. It's the fourth year the Altoona Lions Club is hosting its ice fishing classic. The competition started at noon and goes until noon tomorrow. Organizers expect around 200 people to participate. Prizes go to the top three fish in five categories. All proceeds go toward helping the Lions Club do good in the community. It goes right back into our community. Lions Club does a lot as a international Lions Club organization, but all of these events that we use here, all funding goes right back into our community for different you know, needs and purposes. In addition to prizes for the top fishes, the Lions Club is also hosting a drawing with 70 different prizes. Anyone who catches a fish of any size is entered into the raffle. Up next in Sports Scene 13, the UW Eau Claire women's hockey team looks to start their postseason push on a high note in Hobbs. And area wrestlers pack the doghouse and leave it all on the mat. Jessica's in with the recap right after this. Thanks, Derek, and thanks for joining us. Our next newscast is tonight at 10.